Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 16. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our injection angle table within our EMU Black software. Now, the fuel injection timing table or the injection angle table is going to allow us to be very specific of when we want our injectors to start spraying or stop spraying. And we're able to time it right, we can get an improvement in fuel economy and throttle response. If we time it wrong, we're actually going to get a lean hesitation and a poor running engine. So I'm going to go over the end of injection or EOI based fuel injection angle table, what it represents, and how to tune it properly within this video so you can get your injection timing nailed down and get the best economy and the best throttle response out of your engine. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our fuel injection angle table within our EMU Black software. Now before we jump into the training tutorial, let's make sure you have the correct page layout open so you can follow along with what I'm gonna be illustrating in this video under desktops, under open desktops template, make sure you have your main tuning page layout open so that way you can follow along with what I have on my screen here. So let's go and cancel this and we're gonna move from setup here into our fuel tab. Under our fuel tab, we're gonna move into this injection angle table. This is what this video is going to be about and we're gonna be talking about the specific things that we need to know with our injection angle table and then talking about all the details in order to configure this properly. Now. Before we actually take a look at the injection angle and before we can really understand what's going on here, we need to understand there's gonna be some options that we can choose for different kinds of injection timing that we have within our EMU Black. If we jump back into setup here, let me go to the injector phase. We're gonna be finding the, in the injection angle control is specified right now at start at ignition event. We can see in our drop down here, we have end of injection and start of injection. So it's gonna have three different options of controlling where we're actually gonna be spraying our fuel injector. Now I do wanna note that if you're gonna be running a batch fire style injection, we're not gonna be able to choose our table options here. We can't be specific of where we wanna spray the injector. This is only gonna be used in a sequential style fuel injection system. So we can see here um, under the injection angle control, this option start at ignition event. This is usually what all of the calibration files are defaulted onto. This is going to be taking a look at what we specify here for the injector number one phase or where we want it to spray. We can see that it's gonna be ignition event one. And ignition event one here, if we look at ignition event one and our ignition outputs, that's tied into ignition output number one, which is our coil output number one to our, uh, to our cylinder. So if we actually look, jumping back into fuel here, and jumping down here under our fueling page under that live data, we can see the injection angle is specified here at 66 degrees. This is gonna be where it starts to spray the fuel injector at. So 66 degrees on our number one cylinder as we're timing everything. And that's because we've tied it here to the start of ignition event. Now, if we go down here under our primary trigger under options here, and we look down here on our window, we're gonna find the trigger angle we specify that at 66 degrees. Because we've specified the trigger angle at 66, that's gonna be where the injection angle is gonna be starting from on number one cylinder. Then the other cylinders in the firing order are going to be firing um, based on, on that spacing. So one, three, four, two firing order, it'll be taking this value here, adding 180, and then that's gonna be where it sprays a number three cylinder. Number four and a four cylinder will be the next in line. It'll add another 180 to that. It'll start an injection point at that, at that particular uh, degree. And then finally, our number two cylinder, that's the number four in our firing order. It'll add another 180 degrees to that as well. And then we'll find that's gonna be specifying where we want the injectors to spray at. Now, that is definitely not the most ideal way to do things. It does work just fine. And again, most of the base calibration files are gonna- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.